Hi friends, my name is freaking out today. I don't know if any of you guys have suggested that, but I'm freaking out today. But I tell this video, you know what's gonna happen. I'm visiting my boyfriend's parents today. They are coming to the city and they wanted to meet me. I have never done this for a while. I'll talk about that later. So I just wanted to talk to you guys because I feel like I haven't done this like chit chat and just get ready for my date. Or I guess, is it a date? What do you call this? An intervention? <laughs> There's a lot of things I have to do to get ready. It's currently raining right now, so that's why my, um, the setup is disgusting looking. And you guys are gonna see how this turns into an even better looking human because I already look good right now. I know, don't tell me, don't tell you don't have to remind me, it's okay. First of all, I have to fix this, that, and this. If you haven't seen last week's video, that's what happened. So without further ado, Kiana! We got the shaving kit. Shoot, I have to clean this up after. I should probably do it in the shower. I'm gonna move to the shower. Come shower with me. <laughs> I'm trying to think, should I do it in the shower? Are you my 11 o'clock appointment? Can they Wait, see but me? there's no plug. I think we should do the two clip. Okay. Because I, I think that looks like a two, like where people cut into me. Okay. And if it's not two, then we'll go to a one. Okay, and I'm just going basically, I'm matching this kind of area. I'm making a new line for you. Yeah, so like if you're paranoid, you literally can go here below the line. I'm wearing a bucket hat okay. and I'll fix it when I get home. I'm like clearing the trees. Yes, yeah, so you're clearing the trees so that you can build a house. <laughs> Amazing, okay. I'm just preparing you for a, for a son. I don't want a son. Yeah, but I'm saying like you're gonna get one probably at some point. I'll give them to you. Why? I'll just drop them all. I don't want a son. Uncle Freddy's here. <laughs> oh, you're a professional now. I'm not gonna phase anymore. Okay, I'm gonna do the back first. But it worked. Okay. It won't let me get close enough. Shit. Okay, let's see. Where's my one? Okay, this is the one. So if it's not the one, it's I don't, zero. I don't think I have a half. <laughs> There's a one sixteen. Oh, that's closer. So that is a perfect. I'm trying to see. I think it's yeah. That one's good. Okay. All I need is for the rat to be gone, and I can do the rest because I can see it. I will do the rat for you. Okay. Just as I did it earlier. The rat was her work, by the way. I'm wondering though if it, no. I was worried it was gonna look like a shadow on your yeah, right now. Yeah, but no. I don't think so. Goodbye everyone. <laughs> <laughs> One hour before class. What time do you leave? Right after class. I'm trying to get ready now. Oh. But like, I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> Literally, that takes like 15 minutes. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is look a little bit presentable for his parents because I don't think having Ku and an Among Us character and a literal rat, like Remy the rat on the back of my head would be a good first impression. My boyfriend said they're chill, so like, I know I shouldn't be worried, but how would you not be worried? I think I've got the majority of it. I'm just gonna cut a line that I think is where my new hair will grow, and I'll have my mom fix the rest later. Clean this up too. Oh my god, how am I gonna do this all in time? Okay, I think about everything. Don't judge. I don't care about the outline because I'm covering up with a book ahead. I just want to know if I got rid of the the designs. I'm gonna ask Kiana later. Right now, I'm going to shower. As much as I would love to bring you in there, I, I shouldn't. So uh, I'm just gonna skip. So I finished cutting my hair. I feel like I should be in the military now, but anything is better than that freaking rat behind my head. But I still haven't done my skincare, so I need to do that now. And I'm not going in depth on each product. If you want to know, I'd say it more on my second channel. So I bet everyone's wondering, who's your boyfriend? Will we show us your boyfriend? Oh my God, do the boyfriend tag. And the answer is no. I don't know what your expectation is of YouTubers, but personally, I still believe that I reserve the right to keep him private for as long as I want, because I don't ask you about your significant other and I don't understand why everyone feels like they're entitled to see other people's significant others especially on the internet I'm like why would I subject him to unwarranted criticism from thousands of people because I know the moment I reveal him some people are gonna be like you can do better oh my god he's so ugly just people who are what's the word dicks so I'm probably just gonna not show you guys him for like at least a year because first of all never felt the need to show someone on camera. And second of all, I don't trust myself to show them on camera. There's always the we broke up video that I refuse to do. I'm a cancer, like what did you expect? I don't trust myself. And I don't trust everyone on the internet, quite frankly. So no offense to you, but 
it's not happening anytime soon so stop asking so about today it's currently raining it's like 50 to 55 degrees and it's always windy here so that's gonna suck i have to dress for that so i'm gonna bring an umbrella and we're going to long island and we're gonna be going shopping getting lunch and or dinner just hanging out basically it's not gonna be like formal but obviously i'm still gonna dress them by their last name and i'm gonna say miss last name because that's just in my blood because I know if I said their first name, even if they're chill with it, it's just not something that my parents will let me do. I just hear this voice in my head that's like, Frederick, you will regret it if you say it. Does anyone else have that? Maybe it's because I lived in the South and that was just like a tradition. I always addressed my parents and anyone older than me by miss. I still do. And it is from being a cashier too. Like you just have to say that. So I'm going to try to make a good impression. I pray to God he has not told them about my YouTube channel, but he already ratted me out to them by saying I was nervous and didn't know what to wear. Dude, I thought we were on the same side. What if I go there and they're like, oh, you speak spend all the week thinking about the outfit and that's what you wore <laughs> they're not gonna say that but like i had a dream about that and i'm not gonna wear makeup like i'm not gonna put on foundation one because i'm wearing a mask so what's the point it's just gonna smudge i might just do my eyebrows and put some eyeshadow on and i'll be it and speaking of meeting parents i don't know if anyone else has done this but the last time i ever visited my significant other's house and like met their parents in person was four years ago three to four years ago and that was one day it was very brief it was very not formal i didn't even like that person so i didn't count that this boyfriend i really like i hope it goes well i mean i think you guys can tell i really like him because i'm already talking about him on my channel usually i don't talk about any of that stuff because the trend is they don't last long but i just i feel good with him he doesn't make me uncomfortable has always respected me he's just very nice and i appreciate that and he told me his parents are going to be like that he told me many times to not worry but like i'm a worrier i am a cancer this is what we do we have trust issues with ourselves he's already met my parents by the way my parents love him and that was the first time I brought a boy home. I've never brought a significant other to my house because I never trusted them enough to mention it to my parents. I really do trust them. That is not something I would typically do within the first few months of knowing him. Guys, I swear I'm almost done with my routine. I did a really good face mask yesterday. I was debating doing one today because I wanted to look plump. I wanted my face to be firm, non-porous. Oh, where did that accent come from? I just wish it wasn't raining. Like, it's such a gloomy day today. It's not pretty here. People say they like rain. You won't like it in New York. It's gross. It's slimy and it's muddy. I saw an earthworm on my window earlier. You let me know how that was possible. Did the worm ascend? I've been internally freaking out this entire week because I don't know what to wear. And what is casual formal? What is that attire? Why do people always say that for like church and freaking recitals? And I haven't done that in years. And my parents dressed me back then. I don't know how to do that anymore. I don't dress like that. Do I wear the vineyard vines khakis? I don't have those. You guys know that. If I ever buy them, you must crucify me. I also have class in 10 minutes, but it's it's a recitation and it's just a review before the quiz. I have a quiz at 12.30. It's currently 11.50. So I just have to take the quiz at 12.30. I have until 1 p.m. to finish the quiz and then right after that i have to meet my boyfriend at penn station and i have to go straight there so i have to be ready by the time i take the quiz or at least near that time because then we have to take the train to visit his parents which are in long island which i think is like an hour ride i don't know i've never taken the long island rail okay sunscreen is on that is the last step which means i have to dress now i definitely want to look skinny so i'm not gonna wear like my mom jeans definitely want to plaid because it's fall, so probably gonna wear my green plaid plant, not plants, oh my god, probably gonna wear my green plaid pants, definitely gonna wear a belt, and wear docks, wear a jacket, not one with a hoodie, but like one that's a nice trench coat maybe, just a nice coat, and I'm going to put on infinite amounts of deodorant, I'm going to bring a travel deodorant, I'm going to bring cologne, bring travel cologne, just to make sure there is zero possibility that I may smell, who knows, I might be sweating profusely just because I'm near their parents, so you never know. So this is done. I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm going to put on body lotion because we don't want chapped elbows. And I'm gonna show you the outfit. Okay, so these are all my options. I really like these brown pants. They're like the thin ones, but I feel like I'm gonna get too cold and I also don't wanna ruin these yet. So I think I'm just gonna go with the plaid pants. Plaid pants will go with... <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Nope, I thought this was God telling me this is the shirt. It's definitely not. I'm not gonna go turtleneck on them. I think I'm gonna go a nice fall look. Should I go turtleneck? Oh, I can't decide. Do I go neutral, black turtleneck? I know this is the coat I wanna wear. So if I wanna wear this coat, I should probably just do something along the lines of 
that. This. That way I can wear necklaces. Okay, my lucky brown belt as always. And which socks? Let's go normal socks. Let's go socks that won't distract. So like my starry knit ones, maybe? Maybe not. Why don't I just have regular socks? Oh my god, guys, why don't I have just black socks? Okay, whatever. Okay, so here's my final outfit. I have my HAL earrings on. I have to wear a bugger hat, of course. I'm not going out looking like a military veteran. This is the best we can do. I also don't have my glasses with me that I love because they're currently being repaired at Warby and they don't get back until next week. So hopefully they're gonna deal with all of this. I'm also getting a reaction. Do you see that? Yeah, I think I did my skincare routine wrong because I had benzoyl peroxide, which you shouldn't put near your eyes. And I know that because th this happened and I forgot to wash my hands because I was too lazy to go to the bathroom. So hopefully this dies down in the next hour or so. It's also 40 degrees now and not 50, but it's going to stop raining by 3 p.m., which is good. So I have a turtleneck on. I have this necklace and I also have this necklace. This one matches the earrings. It's from Howl's Moving Castle. It's gonna be really hard to see the whole outfit, but this is the trench coat thingy I'm wearing. I don't know what to call it. Plaid pants, brown buckle, and I'm just gonna wear brown docks to match the belt. I have on my only three rings and oh, oh my God, I forgot to do my nails, shit. I'm probably gonna do that off camera cause I have the quiz in 10 minutes. I have on my lucky bracelets on both sides, of course. Should I do my eyebrows? I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. You guys know me, normally I do eye makeup, but because I don't have my glasses, I can't hide the fact that my makeup isn't that good on my eyes. Maybe this reaction is my natural eye makeup now. But that was my secret trick. I would wear glasses over my eye makeup, so it's like, oh, you don't even know it's there. You know what's also annoying? My boyfriend has better eyebrows than me. What does that tell you? He doesn't even have to tweeze, but they're just already perfect. Ooh, he's a lucky man. Don't go overboard, Frederick, just Fill it in. Fuck, I should have waxed yesterday. Okay. I mean, with the bug ahead, you can't even tell. Oh my god. This reaction, it's getting so much worse. It's just like this ring around my eyes. Shit. I'm gonna have to figure that out. It still stings a little, but normally the sting goes away in an hour. But I have to take a quiz now, so that's all I have. If you enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos every week. I post every Saturday. Subscribe to my second channel for more skincare stuff and just unboxing stuff. Go follow our podcast. We're on Apple and Spotify now. And as always, I love you guys, and everything is less than three. I should put that away. I will update you guys next week on how my date went or just on Twitter. <laughs> Bye. Love you all. I'm doing this for y'all. I'm standing on top of a toilet just to show you. We don't have a full length mirror yet, but this is my outfit. As my sister would say, very sussy. I don't have my shoes on yet, by the way, but these are the ones I'm going to wear. I think the reaction is gone. I did wash this area with warm water to get rid of anything that was on there, but I think it's good. I just shouldn't touch it anymore, but I keep touching it. In my backpack, I have mint gum powder because I know I'm going to get oily. Travel deodorant, portable straw, another touch up thing in case you get oily. Um, mirror to do that, portable cologne, <laughs> hand cream, chapstick, nail cutter in case of emergencies, and I'm gonna have my portable charger. I put this on for fancy occasions. One, two, and then on your wrist, and you rub them, and then put some behind your ear, apparently. None of this is sponsored, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. No one is gonna sponsor this mess of a video. My boyfriend's gonna be at Penn Station around 1.40, because the train leaves around like 2.10 for Long Island, so I have to get there by then. And it's currently one o'clock, so I'm gonna leave in like, Five minutes. I also took off my nails because I figured black nail polish might not be the best first impression. Wish me luck guys. Before I leave, I'm just gonna do one more lint roll. I'm so paranoid.